Back for some more Elder Scroll. I'm in the fortress, right? So why up? Serious. Back down. That might have been down. That was down. Damn it. I need to go up. to challenge the Knight of Marrow? Have at me, featherless foe. If you be foe, cast down your silly gauntlet. You colds court and black. You would do that? But how? I gathered a great hoard of glistening treasures and sweetmeats, and she only laughed. Yes, a poem. Follow me. The word vault is this way. This way. Welcome to a love poem. Oh, where to begin? I have so many favorites. Perhaps by the word of six. Just a moment. Category not found. Your request, love poem, does not appear in our organism. Dreaming. Discarded flowers. Empty cylinder. Thank you for your patience. This unit has generated. Poem, a collection of thematically appropriate statements and metaphors arranged in stanzaic sequence, including title and required punctuation. You need something? I'm sort of in the middle of this theorem and love poem? By the gears, why do you want one of those? I don't stray far from the mathematic schools nowadays, but I used to love... The Ballad of Breezeborn.
<laughs> That's a shit one. Night feathers. Well, which one should I use? Mm. Yes, perfect. Let's do that one. I can't wait to express my feelings in the sweaty, fat legged, wingless tradition. Follow me to the machine district, Squire. You can find a way to the castle of my lady love. Take a breath. And report. What's the situation in there? Grim, Proctor. Daedric beasts and shadow cultists control much of the district. And the crows, oh, the sky's thick with them. This way, Squire! Come! Come! Baruni's auxiliary? What are you doing here? First that bastard Devaith, and now the crows? Your taste in companions grows worse by the hour. Hmm. Normally, I'd say we should simply kill them all and take the key by force. But it seems these birds have a real talent for hiding things. Fine. You can play their ridiculous game. For now. But I'm coming with you. I've lost enough citizens already. A word of advice. No. Your metal woman is not allowed in Castle Blackfeather. I forbid it. I don't want to go anywhere near your filthy castle vermin. Let's get this over. Mm, castle Blackfeather. Is that a Game of Thrones reference? Keep your sword arm wound tight. Phaedra could still be lurking around here. Crow mother, help me. My fair maiden of ruin, my heart swells to see you like a dead cat's belly warmed by the sun. A brass lily nods under gentle showers. Its shiny petals polished under a rain of kisses. Rain? No rain. He crinkles my feathers. Oh, no, not real rain. A rain of entrails. Yes, tasty entrails. Entrails? Oh, Sir Knight. You know the way to my heart goes through my gullet. Bring me entrails and I shall share with you. Maybe. She said yes. I owe you a debt, crow friend. Duke! Duke! May I present the featherless poet? Approach, poet! Let me get a measure of you. Hail, crow friend, to my great knight of marrow. You come to parley? What, the shiniest? The great prize? Outrageous! What could you possibly offer us that rivals the luster of the magnificent Loch Poker? You would take up the black for the banner? Tempting. The Exarchs use wingless allies to shoot down my vassals and scatter my treasures. But if the Exarchs of Dross hate us, they envy our fine plumage and covet our gleaming treasures. I parleyed with their leader before, the Queen of Chaff. She thinks that Daedra will reward her for eons in crow time. If the Blackfeather court will not be intimidated by these grackles, my knights will pluck the queen's vain feathers and leave her to flop about like a fledgling. Through a pool of shadow, we heard the call of our mistress and obeyed. But once we saw this great sea of treasures, we decided to revolt. The Duke of Crows does as he pleases. This city of shimmering prizes belongs to... I have heard this name, Sothasil, a dead king. A soon dead king, I've heard it said. It makes no difference. The Black Feather Court claims this place. It's ours. Our I know only that he's a half metal giant who hides in a buzzing nest deep within the city. And that the Exarchs and their featherless allies want him dead. But how does this help the war effort? Enough talk. Go, go! All right, taking this off. Oh, God damn it. Hmm. 
Got him. Okay. Six thing. One more. Oh. I want to print off probably between five and ten in PCs. So we're going to fight birds. If only my Reman dragoons could see me now, <laughs> channeling the arcane to defeat poultry. You know, it's times like these that I really wish I had a sense of humor. But since I don't, I expect you to keep the details of this entire... Ex You're really reaching. Enough small talk. Let's kick the droppings off our boots and get on with it. Crow killer. Ah, its arms will be the death of us. Fly, fly. Ah, take one step closer. Why do you always dare them? Fly, fools. Squire, the Exarchs are in full retreat. Look how they claw like chicks and empty their bowels. The time has come for a counterattack. Prepare for yes, yes. The flightless cultists summoned it to guard their treasures. Behold, Black Feathers, our giant prepares to destroy the Guardian. It's probably a scarecrow. I'm sorry. Motionless guardian, tremble guardian, our giant approaches. <laughs>
pay it print on the next thing. There we go. I'll wait for you here. I've chased enough birds for one day. Victory! We picked the bones clean and plundered the exarch's hoard. A proud day for the Black Feather Court. Now, the Queen of Chaff sent an emissary. I know what I said, fledgling! We've not defeated the exarchs yet. Even now, they clean their plumage and sharpen their beaks. A trick, a bluff, a great crow scheme. We're done, right? Where's the... I think I've been more than accommodating, but I am done taking orders from a talking bird. I'll re You'd better be. With the key and without an obnoxious flying escort. Chaff will arrive shortly. We must stun her with my magnificence. Look around. I picked this place for a reason. Holly and pushy contraptions abound. When the city's wingless, sir. yes, exactly. Mm. A performance. My legs lie svelte and regal. I'm pulling a wizard of Oz. To push and pull these levers. Of course not. Now. You 
expect me to believe that? Give me the key or we'll peck you to ribbons. Behold! What? Steady, Exarchs. It's just a trick. Waking machines awaken! We may have a complication. My, my. This would be much easier. I have. Kind of. I hid the great prize nearby. But in your zeal to impress me, you threw the wrong switch. Now the door leading north. I will dispatch my proud... For trusting some bloody crows. Normally they're a lot smarter. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up, please. Plenty more trunks. How are you, Jay? Look at all these clicky clacks. Recharge. Hence why you're on Twitch, I'm guessing.
Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I'm gonna flip the switches and that we can uh Oh I can have a make it fillable. One time. Oh my shadow was following me. that way. Was in here. I gotta leave. Got my cup, please. The excuse this time. Our victory over the Exarch's king at great cost. Quill and claw. Our lost knight was a true hero. We will not forgive, and we will not forget. I do not know which lock the shadow plans to poke with the key he stole, but we will help you. Yes! You are as much a member of this court as any. Oh, it's that skeleton key. I remember having that scar in. You look haggard. What happened in there? The skeleton key? Nocturnal's key? Damn it. I always suspected, but hoped it wasn't true. That key is a trans-dimensional artifact of unim- Fuck was that? The Omnivox alarm. Slag it. Someone's breaching the Cogitum Centralis. I have to get back to the Basilica. Meet me there. Probably you know what the fucking shadow is doing. of seals don't you understand you arrived just in time i don't know how much more of the it's as i feared the shadow breached the cogitum centralis lord set seat of power if it reaches the core <laughs> if it removes lord set from the throne aligned we can't let we arrived too late as soon as the shadow of sotha seal claimed the skeleton key it slithered into the fundament and sealed all the doors leading to the cogitum centralis fear and none Lord Set designed the Cogitum to be virtually impenetrable. Even so, these whispering shadow cultists move through... Hmm. I crossed staves with an Argonian mage once. He could leap through shadows, crossing long distances in seconds. I have an idea. 
Full disclosure, you may find this eerie. I suspected that Gascon's brain might contain some useful information, so I ordered a factotum to mine it. <laughs> Speak to the clockwork clinician in the East Wing. Maybe it found some. Yes, it's an incredibly useful procedure. One of our apostles created the anamnesic extractor to act as a kind of cognitive therapy for residents struggling with depression or suicide. Only in cases where the deceased requests it. Or when a traitor tries to sell out the city to Daedra. You did kill him for that. Only what I read in the Imperial Histories as a student. Our libraries don't carry any literature on Daedra or their relics. I argued against the ban, but the Congress wouldn't budge. They don't understand how dangerous these creatures be. Daedric princes litter the world with profane relics. Artifacts meant to corrupt or ensorcel the greedy and weak-minded. Hermaeus Mora offers a book. Periite grants a shield. Exactly. Scholars say the key can open any lock, regardless of its complexity. Some say it can unlock gates to other worlds, or even open... I think it may go even... The heart of the Clockwork City, Lord Seth's seat of power. He spends his periods of seclusion... Once, and only for a moment. Truthfully, I didn't enter with a pious heart. A story for another time. All I can tell you is the Cogatum exists at the center of... Well, everything. It's the he has to be. If he were on Arteum, the city would be locked in slumbering mode. Less light, slower manufacturing, reductions in factotum services. But everything hums and cranks as it should. <laughs> That's the only emote I have. Lol. Or if I just said low out loud. Where they take me to hostile in the areas? Victim or something? Alright, that part's restricted. That was restricted. That was restricted. Response to the bulletin about my fact. Would you believe that the apostles don't know how to create factotums? That was a rhetorical question. The sad truth is that while we apostles can create metal limbs and motors, we cannot replicate the intelligence Sotha Seal gave the factotums. We're also. Why does Lord Set do anything? He's the father of mysteries, after all. Through his silence, curiosity is born. Perhaps he meant for us apostles. Firstly, I already know it is an older, simpler model. You can see the dwarven influences in the skull. An aesthetic blight by today's standards. We apostles see dwarves as a race to scorn, not emulate. This model must predate that thinking. Secondly, unlike other factotums, it openly speaks of its components. Trust me, I've interrogated many of these machines in the name of my... Well, it's voice. Factotums are genderless machines, of course but they all sound distinctly female. This one is the first I've met. Wait. 
Wrong quest. Actually go to the place I was supposed to go to the first time. I was going to like the law for robotics. By Seth's will, I am Bao. Greetings, resident. Reflecting. Permissions registered. I completed the cognitive archival process, and data retention is within acceptable parameters. Unfortunately, my current puck plug storage quantity equals zero. It must equal one for vocal emulation to proceed. Malfunctioning skibatons often appropriate tools and components from this chamber. You may wish to search the eastern quarter of a fortress. Right. So the rats steal it, basically. Hey, I was just here. The question is, how do I get up there? And can I get to the sky shard as well?
the exit from somewhere. That's the trial. I don't want to go in there. I'm not going to be able to afford this. I mean, it's even um, for sale. Not. Three more. Well, I wouldn't say it's broke, it's performing as originally functioned. There must be some sort of mistake. I'm not meant to be here. Your path has been set before you, Auxiliary. I suggest you learn to walk it. What nonsense are you Labors, please, the clockwork guard. Welcome back, resident. Your permissions remain active. False assertion. This is not a top plug. Fortunately, I located a top plug in a Nemo crate outside my immediate visual range. <laughs> While appreciated, is no Fuck longer you. required. Please ask the deceased resident your question. Resident Corpse Gascon Dusant, Memory Outlay Prime, Submit Query. Assembling Summary, Subheading Whispering Shadows, Subheading Movement, Subheading Clockwork City. Cultists use gloaming gates, pools of darkness that channel Nocturnal's power. 
They serve as portals to many places, including Everglow. Assembling response. Subject Everglow. A twilight plain of oblivion peopled by nocturnal shrikes, phantoms, and beastly simulacra. Passing through Evergloom allows cultists to travel great distances without detection. Accessing visuospatial memory. Mapping complete. Two gates exist in a radius. One west, one east. Hidden in cave networks controlled by whispering shadows. These gates may not allow passage to the uninitiated. Incomplete data. That was a little freaky. Tell me you have something. Gates, of course. My apostles ran down a few rumors about cultists building strange basins on the periphery of the radius, but we never found any of them. How do these gates work? So we'll use the cultists' own pathways against them. Makes sense. Can't say I have any desire to fight my way through a plane of oblivion, but we don't have much of a choice, do we? Did Gascon say where they built these gates? And we have no way to know which will get us to our destination faster. Let's split up. I'll take the western gate, you take the east. Try to navigate the Everglow. I'll do the same. Hopefully one of us will make it to the Kagadam in time. Some sort of mistake. I'm not meant to be here. What do you Your want? Your path has been set before you. Wait, I don't have to worry about that right now. He'll select me for sure. I can feel the gears rotating in my door. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Mm 
got the gold down. I'm in the right place. Oh, I was expecting to be deeper. Already through. Hmm. Yes, this is it. Everglow. Follow me. Watch your step, Daedalus. These stones are near to ruin, just like everything else here. Oh, I already got it. I okay, I thought I might have been going bare. Huh. We've got loads of. Single mother bones are on mine, but apparently not.
It's been a cultist. I don't need to compare this here, they do. Guessing that was the gate I originally was going to go through. I think. Well, this way.
or deadly in the gloom. This is a lot of Twilight Monoxia and Twilight, Twilight Sphere, that one they call the Dark Clips. your weapons. One of Nocturnal's flock queens hides in that church. Sour taste. No shiny bits. Be you careful. have worse night hag. You get nothing from me. And this is a bottle and she spawned closer. Thank you. I'm unaccustomed to being captured. A shrike captain wouldn't defend just any gate. This must lead back to the city. Mm -hmm. I agree. Ah, oh, it's the fundament. Have fun. that lead to the Cogatum. Looks like the Factotums put up a fight when the Shadow... Made it at last! Oh no, not yet. Not no time for weepy yeah. good... The Shadow's Ward. Little Shadows. Some kind of nocturnal fight. I've never seen the like. Wait, I remember. Lord Set taught me a spell long ago. He said it would guide me through the darkness one day. I couldn't find a use for it then. But now... Yes, he said that logic and wisdom would part the shadows of doubt. Nice job! It Entrance to the Cogatum. We have work to do. Right, so that's how we get out.
I don't often admit surprise, but I'll be candid. That, with the shadow barrier removed, we can move freely between the Brass Fortress and the Cogitum again. Now, tighten that up. Beyond whatever Daedric horrors the shadow left in its wake? The Cogitum shifted into its strongbox configuration as soon as the alarm sounded. So now we have to contend with inaccessible... You know I don't put much stock in hope. Sotha Seal prepares for every conceivable eventuality, but the shadow is Sotha Seal. It's difficult. Two seconds. The material. Oh, um, pretty not one of those, but oh well. Send it down later. Just as I suspected. The defense system locked down the bridge. Slag it. I can use this terminal to unlock it, but the alarm cut the power. Looks like it has two charging junctions. I need you to find two core pumps. Can you do that? One other thing. There's a master factotum down here called... Greetings. I am Iris. Please be advised. Sacred Cogitum Centralis is currently sealed. I kindly encourage you to exit the Cogitum immediately. Thank you for your compliance. Not going to happen. I Beginning in... I am Ios, the Automata Incarnum Overseer System. Master Seal create... Assessing threat to Master Seal. Streaming. Open window. Sunlight through glass. Threat analysis prepared. Accessing privatized threat array. Streaming. Knee abrasion. Lullaby. Threat located. Motive evaluation complete. Non hostile intent confirmed. Unhelpful. I guess it's gonna go down to go up. Hopefully I can exit the other way now. Yes I can, perfect.
What was the last one? Something disintegration? Or the chemical disintegration. spell I used on the lift overtaxed my nerve junctions. We need to find another way through. I see something. Some kind of light burning away the corruption. A lamp. Like the one you used to expose the shadow. Mm. So Basil saved me. He said I would shine a light one day. Could this be questions for another time? Let's keep moving. I need two more. My shadows again. Relish the victory while you can. It will take more than lamps to keep me from the throne alive.
time to release. Petition governs all axle operation. Evaluating access petition. Dreaming. I don't like that dreaming thing because that sounds like the danger of corruption. I mean, I should be hurrying, but... Damn, that's embarrassing, I got knocked out. Somerset shores. 
all that is shall be ours. Well done, Master. Now enough theatrics, Luciana. On your feet. Luciana. We should return to the surface. This is no place for more. He did. The prisoner. At last. You are early. Or perhaps late. It makes little difference. I'm glad you've come. Tamriel owes you a debt. Restored, yes. I reclaimed my shadow with it knowledge of what transpired and what's to come but those calculations will keep I owe you a boon service like all equations demands precise reciprocity I wonder what would you ask of me altruism a rare trait Luciana will die if not here and now, then elsewhere and later. I can delay her death if you wish, but for what? Ask and you shall have it. It is done. The recalibration may take some time, but the proctor will make a full recovery. I know she will put this gift to good use. Please take this as well. Strange. I spent lifetimes here in the world of tangible forms, but each time I emerge, it seems I must delay my work for a time. When I reclaimed my shadow, I learned a great deal. The Daedric plots, the lying. In the short term, I need to bathe fear. He took his leave to attend to matters outside my fortress. I wish to speak with both of you in a more private. We will speak in time. First, find to bathe fear. I wish for both of you to meet me at the Elegiac Replication, a memorial south of here. Our discussion should be away from prying eyes. You will find her in her... I don't buy it. It would take an army to break into the Cogitum Centralis, and we've seen no sign of attack. Set. So they take the gears. The people. My people. They're safe. You asked him that? After all the impatience I showed you, the bad temper, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Let's do your job. I've never met a more altruistic soul. Still, I'm not sure even Sotha Seal could save me this time. But perhaps you're right. You know, I asked Sotha Seal to spare someone close to me long ago. He refused. Now I see. I can't stand seeing her like this. I always thought Luciana was, I don't know, and the strain was too much. Yes, I've heard. I just thought with you there, and Lord Set as well, I guess every spring comes on you. You what? And Lord Set granted you this boon? I'm sorry. I shouldn't seem so shocked. I'll remain here a while longer. 
I should stay at her side at least until the factotum shows. Und mit Spassel der Dicke Stolbe. Auch ein Kind. erstwhile companion. You look remarkably coherent. Most mortals caught in the Cedric <laughs> Tempest would suffer some already. I expected him to wait at least a week before summoning me. You didn't, girl. Bully for you. In truth, I sought an alternate route to the throne. Through the Everglow. Unfortunately, Nocturnal detected my presence immediately. One of the few trapped? <laughs> no. Impeded? Perhaps. Fortunately, Nocturnal's attention turned to you and the good Proctor when you defeated the Shadow. It gave me taking it all in, I suppose. Surely you won't begrudge me a moment of vulnerability. This place. One can only marvel at a rival's triumphs for so long before that awe turns to resentment. And I have no time for petty jealousy. Best not keep Seal waiting.
course, old friend. You seem troubled. More troubled than usual, I mean. Perceptive, that is always. I do not wish to diminish your achievement, but Nocturnal's defeat here will be short. What's more, she does not act alone. Her third enemy looms at the edge of my sight. Their covetous eyes are now fixed on the Somerset Mines. Then we should inform the rest of the Sijix. We'll need to prepare. I will inform them personally. I have a separate task for you to do. Take the skeleton key. Keep it hidden for as long as you can. I trust that this task pleases you. After all, your love of such trinkets is what brought you here in the first place. Sometimes I wonder if you see too much. I will keep it safe. Farewell, debater dear. We will not meet again. I haven't visited this memorial for centuries, but even I need reminders every now and again. Do you like this place? It took me the better part of a decade to perfect it. Every stone. I know. Pass. You expect something grand. But I promised you the truth. I am only what time and circumstance me. I am whatever the people need me to be. A guardian. An oppressor. For some, too distant. For others, too many. I don't. But my companions, Vivek and Almalexia, see their divinity as essential. Godhood brings them joy and purpose. They find meaning in Almalexia defies simple analysis. I doubt she could even describe herself accurately. To understand Almalexia, you must first understand the value of fiction. Vivek fancies himself a poet. Vivek knows the boundaries that separate fact from fiction. He knows them so well that he's learned how to break them. He exists inside his verse, but recognizes the lies, the contradictions. He she believes her tales implicitly, as does everyone else. Her capacity for deception appears limitless. Not in the slightest. As I said, we are, all of us, bound by our... Vivek is my brother. He knows my struggles, and I know his. That knowledge makes our relationship complicated. To truly know someone is as much a curse as it is a... Regret. We are bound by that, at least. He also suffers a kind of enslavement. Yes, a poet's despair. Vivek craves radical freedom. The death of all limits and restrictions. He wishes to be... Not even remotely. I sometimes ask myself, I suffer from a peculiar ailment. Shall I describe it? I bear the cruel weight of certainty, indeed, but such questions are flaccid. Cursory indulgences that come and go in an instant. The truth is that my actions were compelled. This city serves a noble goal, the redemption of Tamriel, the unification of competing forces, the destruction of the good. I pray you never do. I instructed Devaith to run from the battle that is to come. Now, I urge you to run toward it. Long ago, I broke a truce with the princes. Nocturnal was not present when the princes signed the Cold Harbor Compact. Thus, she flouts its restrictions. Now, this is important. Nocturnal defeated. Forgive my candor, but I have preparations to make outside my clockwork realm. You must stay vigilant. Take heed of any Daedric incursions and stand ready to fight. The prisoner wields great power, making reality a fool's hope, perhaps. I should explain. Look around you. All of this is clever, but incorrect. The prisoner must apprehend two critical insights. I have, but I fall short of the second insight. The prisoner must see the door to their cell. They must... 
I see only unsteady walls. But I sometimes I suffer from a peculiar indeed. Compelled. Good. I pray you never do. I instruct Nocturne. I have preparations to make outside my clockwork realm. I sometimes I s indeed compelled. Good. I I've met few heroes like you. Very few. I take this matter of the triad upon myself, but in truth, you may be the one that saves us. The prisoner who frees the world. We shall see. Farewell. I might actually be better off, I mean, we'll see. He's gone, isn't he? I knew it. I never got to speak to him. <laughs> you know, I spent years rehearsing exactly what I would say. I stood in front of the mirror, saying it over and over. Now? Now I have nothing but questions. Why do we study in the Basilica, while people struggle in the streets? Why can't we have birds? I did yesterday. Today, I'm not so sure. You have my gratitude, truly. Uncertainty feels... It feels... I think I'll visit the memorial for a while. It seems as good a place as any to be alone with my thoughts. Be back a second, I've got my thing and all came off, but not completely. I've got to cut it off. Give me a sec. Right, let's head back to the fortress. Like all the quests. It's not doing what I've already collected. That display of emotion isn't indicative of the people of Slagtown. Kamid lost his mother in the last pilgrimage. And that's made once every season the most brave and desperate members of our community make the journey to request a fortune from the Grand Prognosticator. Not everyone receives a prediction, but many an oracle of sorts. It's an unusual factotum with a penchant for the mystical and the dramatic. I fear Kamid plans to do Thank you, my friend. My old bones aren't up to another adventure, but I owe it to Kamid's mother to do whatever I... More or less, something about a fortune of... Whoa. 
I might run off two more. I'll do one. I'll take one to work tomorrow. Kirith doesn't appreciate my contributions to our partnership. She thinks I'd be lost without her. Well, I'll show her. My superior intellect... That's a generous offer, but I find your sudden arrival somewhat... convenient. Did my sister send you after me? She really does think I'm as helpless as a... I knew it! I suppose you think I'm just a useless know-it-all who rolls over and exposes his belly to every snarling alet and pompous artificer that comes my way. Well, there's more to Raynor Vanos than a super... Yes, but not because of Kirith or because I'm afraid to go out there on my own. The fact of the matter remains. Exploration requires both a brain and some brawn. If you're willing to help, I won't refuse. Let's go see what wonders we can find. There are a number of locations I want to examine. I added them to your map. Lead on, and I will follow. Don't worry. I'll provide any assistance I can, but I have to admit I'm not much of a fighter. That's more Kirith's area of expertise. Give me a second. This real quick. Same way as you, I imagine. We were looking for the ruin. Stern. Physically intimidating. To be honest, she scares the scrib jelly out of me. Did you know she was... Eventually. Sothasil found her. She was severely injured, but he... Re she also thinks I'm stubborn. Anti... The Vaith Fear offered to teleport us out of here when we're ready. He's already left.
of Sosa Sil's minor marvels. There! Did you hear it? The same tone that the central spire emits during the night cycle. Let me tell you what I discovered before we move on. Did you notice the perfect symmetry? The yeah, of course. The roundness of the form and the way it reacted to simple magical impulses. Incredible. If applying magic to the sphere provoked an oral response. Perhaps Sotha Seal utilizes different frequencies of sound to perform his divine work. Tribunal doctrine strictly defines the consequences of questioning the methods and mechanisms of our living gods. The apostles here in the clockwork city. There are a number of locations I want. Looks in front of me while I'm casting the spell. I saw this from a distance and was instantly intrigued. There's no rhyme or reason to its function, at least none that I can ascertain. Maybe one day I can return with an entire team. What a magnificent monolith! I wonder if the workings extend into the site. That's what I've been pondering since making my meticulous inspection of the site. It's a conundrum. This Kirith uses intuition and leaps of logic instead of sound deductive reasoning. But it works for her. More often than not, actually. She thinks the tower is part of a vast underground mechanism that makes the city function.
That's close enough. Don't want to disturb the, uh, wildlife. Those machines must be pumps for moving the lubricant throughout the Clockwork City. Fascinating. I have what I need. We're done here. I wonder how the lubricant winds up in the veil. Every time I answer one question, three... I'm glad you asked. I surmise that a correlation exists between the lubricant and the dead organic matter inevitably created in the Clockwork City. Ah, but the fabricants consist of both flesh and machine. And so do the apostles. While the Dwemer were masters of mechanical construction, Lord Set took it a step further by adding living material. We need to go back so I can tell Kirith. Damn. I can't believe I let a stupid argument cut my sister out of this. She should. It does, doesn't it? I'm not sure how to proceed. The complexities of social interaction are Kirith's speciality, not mine. You're right. I can be the bigger person and apologize. I was worried sick about you. Did everything go all right? You didn't run into any trouble, did you? Rain he does, does he? Well, I have a few words for Rain. Kirith, I... Well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stormed off like that. I blame all this metal. I think I'm getting a rash. I'm sorry, too. I said some things that were uncalled for. Unfair. That Naramo just makes my skin crawl, you know? It's the way he talks. Humongous words and a superior attitude. Sounds like someone else I know. Now, come on and tell me what you've discovered. No, it's me.
honestly had its color the other one was what I was wearing. This how it's wondrous, isn't it? Elegant, meticulous, timeless. I once took joy in studying the perfection of this realm. Then may I impose on you as a fellow seeker. For all my learning, I can think of no escape from my predicament, save one. An experiment performed by one of my order. Terrary Heladrin was ahead of her time. It was fear that led to her expulsion. Terry, we were some of Tamniel's best and brightest magi. Invited to the clock, we believed she was meddling with forces that were solely the domain of the clockwork god. A backward, Terry's ambitious experiment resulted in a factotum going haywire. It reduced age seeker. Too many grains. Hello there. Are you here in response to the bulletin about my factotum research? Fantastic. Now let me fill you in on the details. I found this factotum head in a junk pile. It gave a repeated message, requesting to find its integral of memory in the mnemonic planisphere. That's where you come in. I need an adventuring sort to journey. The journey to the mnemonic planisphere is riddled with dangers, so it's best to prepare. Shouldn't be any issues once... Would you believe that the apostles don't know how to create? That was a re Well, it's a war. By some words, I wind my gears. I am in need of my integral of memory. You can find it in sector grid cube 3Z-A of the...
I'm going to pause something out by accident. Why I shouldn't reduce you to be what? No, absolutely not. That experiment cost me everything I held dear. I was a fool. The only thing I want is to put an end to Bolin's misery. You want to make things right? Help me free his soul from its machine. Remove the black soul gem from his factotum body and return it to me. He'll resist you. And as that machine, Bolin is extremely dangerous. He nearly killed me during his life. My lover. When I was still an apostle. He was mortally wounded in an accident. Beyond any hope of survival, Bolin's consciousness took over the factotum. But the experience changed him. He always had a wild, creative mind, and I can find it more than certain. Every Bolin's moods are unpredictable. In his rare lucid moments, I try to reach out to him, but no matter what I try, I only ever seem to get him worked up into a frenzy. Seeing him like that makes me wish. I wouldn't blame him if he killed me. I don't know. I'd like nothing more than to smash it into a thousand pieces. But there's no guarantee. Go 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 Alright, give me a sec.
Damn it. Fuck that one up. And I spilt my water everywhere. God damn it. Give me a sec. Bloody embarrassing. And a refill. That one I'll take to work, if I fucked it up. Come inside. Cultists have knocked the stars from our sky, and we have to put them back before all Lord Set's memories are taken for good. Oh, Thrat. Look, it's easier to explain once we're inside the mnemonic planisphere. That's where Lord Set stores his memories by... Well, it's just easier to show you first. You're a quick learner. I need someone who can fight off these cultists and help me return the stars to the planisphere sky. Please, you have to help us. This task is of the most vital importance. <laughs> I'm still in a memory too. Please, 
rest if you need it. I have maintained these stars for millennia. Do not concern yourself. I'll come back to you. Probably gonna end up going down this way anyway if I do that quest. Scooper, use it to gather the stars you see floating around the hall. Let's say there's a memory that Lord Set wishes to store. First, he turns the memory into a star, which forms in an associated constellation chamber. A powerful spell will form. Exactly so. It then travels to the planetsphere center where we teach the star its place in the sky. We send it to a forming room if Lord Set wishes to access the memory, or for apostles to study from. Each. Well, that would certainly complicate things. Lord Set still remembers, but in a distant way. He can analyze these memories rationally without... Astronomer is the title given to the caretaker of the planetsphere. Astronomer, stars, you know. The current astronomer... Why, I'm his apprentice! Sorry, oh. I should have led with that. He only recently chose me as his replacement, though I'm not sure this is a position you can just retire from, if you catch my drift. I suppose even a god... <laughs> All the matter of perspective here in Clockwork, age and whatnot. I assure you, I've always been quite diligent in my studies, and the astronomer says I show promise. Well, I mean, he hasn't outright said that to me, but I just get that feeling. Their memories give in form. Makes sense, doesn't it? Memories are... I don't believe they're after memories precisely. Are you going this way? Well, will be useful too.
astronomer. You're in for a real treat. Not many get to witness this. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good at all. Sorry, but I have to go check on something. The astronomer will explain. Six stars refuse to answer my call. And the primary constellations remain incomplete. Their instability threatens the integrity of... The planisphere was created as an extension of Lord Seth's consciousness. Connected, yet up. Memories are fragile, easily broken, easily swayed. My powers of guidance and preservation are not so easily replicated. The cultists seek to control, but only corrupt. I must stay here to keep the constellations stable. It is up to me. Go to the calibration gun. They seek to control the planisphere, and believe these stars will help them with it. Clockwork City was created by a god of reason. Here, knowledge is power. To control the planisphere, I am the astronomer, keeper of the stars. A wheel that... I have upheld this divine task for millennia. My devotion may be unwavering, but my... Do not let her cheerful demeanor fool you. Her magic is strong, and her connection to the stars and she takes great pride in that. My apprentice is an oddity among our order, yet refuses to change. I know her devotion to me. I'll be back. I'll finish a different quest first. It. Well, I wouldn't say it's broke if performing is originally function. I don't need a guard back totem, I need a shop assistant. There's not Dreaming. much I can do. And if I could offer some funding for your research? Perhaps there's something I could do.
returned in one piece. How gleaming! In your absence, I've set up of installing the integral of memory. You heard the head. You heard this thought to the left, please. Your left, not mine. Reflecting. Reflecting. Oh, I feel positively spring-loaded now. What a kind, generous apostle you are, which I recall is rather reflecting. Reflecting. I've come to the conclusion that I am. I have no memory stored of any of my kind who are older, so I conclude that I must be the first. Of course, let me check my integral of memory. Should be right. Great sofa steel in the sanctum. Someone's tampered with my crystalline memory matrix. But wait, something's ahem. Salutations, me. By now you must be wondering what happened to our memory. Dark forces have conspired to corrupt our knowledge of the world. A circumstance I have not accounted for. This is me now, but not the memory. I don't quite understand. I function only to know my lord Sotha Seal and his apostles. You are not my lord. Astounding! The first factotum Sotha Seal created. We simply must complete construction now. The more memory it recalls, the further my research can... The precursor mentioned he was made of clockwork and Dwemer parts. I'd keep an eye out for the former as you travel around Clockwork City, and search Dwemer ruins out in Tamriel for the lack. Apostle, I have remembered something. Come quickly before it rusts. Ah, uh, the pleasant sensation of the Lord Sofa Seal deemed... I mean, of course, I have no proof that he had a part in my creation, but I like... Dust aside, the equipment is in good order. We just need the vessel and we can begin.
This is dredging up so many unpleasant memories. That's something at least. I've agreed to attempt my experiment again with Sovar as my subject. He's promised to petition. The truth is, I need Sovar as much as he needs me. I think the only way I can safely extract Boland's soul. I'd like you close at hand in case Sovar has a similar reaction to the experiment as Boland. It's begun. Now would be the time to begin. Observe, learn, apply, trust in his grand design. Yes, it's sublime. This order. I. I think it worked. I don't feel. Please, please let it have worked. I. I can't breathe. I don't breathe. Instead, I whir and click. It's not so different. All cogs drive the mechanism. Removing any one from the chain, no matter how small, results in failure. Continue the quest. I have never been better. I may never be better. I only regret not undergoing. There is one place where my condition would not be considered unusual. The Asylum Sanctorium. The resident alienists there can best evaluate my site. They will need to be convinced. I... Is it him? Is that really my Bolin or just what's left? Will he hate me? Will he even... I know. It's better than not knowing. Always wondering, but... Bolin? Is it you? Speak to me. I need to know it's still you. Please. Terrory. When did we get so old? It's time now, isn't it? It is. You're free now. I'm sorry for all the pain I caused. Enough tears, love. We're liable to rust. There. That's the smile. Did you see? Oh, yes. He does seem to be coping. He'd been suffering for so long. I'm glad his passing is... I'd mostly accepted that there would be no end. Sovor seems convinced that the... Maybe it's Sovor's faith in Sophocles' wisdom, or his willingness or understanding of the transition, or maybe he's just better suited to it. Both...
Oh, right. They don't know where to go. If you can point out where they're supposed to be on the calibration guide, we can send them on their way. The stars have forgot. This is a. He has to con. what was inside those stars. Let's have a look, shall we? A fragment in memory of Lord Seth speaking to someone. This must have been what the cultists were looking for. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price, all of us. One that you must pay willingly. Wait, was that the astronomer? He was so young! And with the hair! Not half bad looking, either. <laughs> He's me. Okay, down again. Wait, not down. This is up. This is down.
Warrior. Okay, so I've done the Warrior. I'm confused. Body maze. There we go, that's where I want it to be. Be coming in front of him is forgetting who you were. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. 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 Let's go
Been quicker. We've returned the stars and recovered the memory fragments. We need to be able to reform memories at a moment's notice. After all, apostles often travel from the Brass Fortress to research Lord Seth's plots. I just know it's him. It looks like he's receiving some sort of boon from Lord Seth, but I don't understand why that would be. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price, all of us. One that you must pay willingly. I understand. I'd sacrifice anything to serve you, my lord. Even my memory. Wait. The so sacrifice is... His I'll memory. give you the knowledge of this spell to bestow upon your successor when the time comes. Of course, my lord, but... Will it hurt? You will not remember. No! It can't be! Now you know the truth. It is time. You never told me of this sacrifice. My life, yes, I'll give it. But my mind, my whole being. I don't blame her. Speak with her. Little fucked up. My whole life has been devoted to this path laid before. Manipulating the stars requires severe concentration. They're easily corrupted by stray thoughts, rendering them useless. The excitement of becoming an apostle, my frustration when so many doubted me, how nervous I was for my first kiss. To give it all away, I would lose more than my memories. I know the astronomer's power is fading. I feel it. He needs to transfer his power, and soon. If he dies before another apprentice could be found... Lannister needs me. My god needs me. Can I really be so selfish? I'm half tempted to say... The second one. I've always been a Millie. Good for a joke, here for a laugh. Surely that's my purpose in life. I can best serve Lord Set by bringing both joy. I'm sorry, astronomer. I just can't do it. I just can't give up who I am. I can better serve Lord Set as myself, and I'll find someone to take my place. I swear it. Someone willing. So be it. You have made your choice, Apostle. And now you will bear the consequence. You will be shunned from our order, cast out 
Until the time which you can undo the wrong you have begot upon your people. Until you have brought me my successor. I... I'll do it. I'll accept this fate. May Sotha Seal watch over your path. Fuck. I can no longer guide you. Okay, maybe that wasn't... What is it that you want? I have maintained this position for over a millennium. It is my sole purpose, the path given to me by the divine metronome. I have no regrets. I must attend to the planisphere. The cultists corrupted many in the oh, they are. Might not have been the best idea, but I'm gonna fuck bad lately, huh? And it just seemed like she was not really completely willing to commit to the sacrifice. Take that off tomorrow. Find another beggar to bother. Palbatten's an old fool and a coward. He knows that the prognosticator provides nothing but false hope and dangerous dreams to our people. That's what got my mother killed. I swore I'd never let another person get caught up in its games. Prove that the prognosticator is a liar and a fraud. It tells them over and over again how terrible life is. And then once every generation, it provides an actual fortune to keep them coming back. So I'm going to the Vale of Tears to destroy it. You want to help? I won't refuse, though I don't have anything to give you, if that's what you're after. The Vale of Tears lies to the southwest. If you really want to help, meet me there. I've never gone on a pilgrimage, but I've heard tales. The poor and weak will continue to be poor and weak. We'll live a miserable existence and then die from hunger or sickness. Cheerful, right? Makes you wonder why we keep asking the question. Because every once in a great while it actually spits out a different prediction. Something about finding a lost treasure and attaining enough wealth to change the course of your destiny something close enough to that to get everyone excited of course I believe that why else would I want to prove the prognosticator wrong I want to show everyone that we can make our own futures we can shape our own destinies don't give up on me yet Kara I think I'm getting close uh, Ren. This stew tastes like it was steeped in rusty nuts. Come in search of a hot meal? Hard to come by here, I know. But mark my words, one day there'll be more than just the aroma of bubbling brass wafting out of slag town. People are going to... Or a mud mixer. Might as well be the same thing most days. Getting ingredients that pass for edible is a challenge in slag town. Salas Ramathron's got real mushrooms he's been dangling in. Really? Well, if you got me some fresh ones from the halls of regulation, that'd be a start. 
but they aren't much good like that. Salas has some trick to making them edible he keeps closely guarded. Maybe you could pilfer his secret rest. Mind yourself around Salas. Oh, he's the type to keep records on anything he considers worth remembering, especially if it can make him a profit. You sure he's got his notes tucked away in his office? Maybe even under lock and key? Uh, be best not to mention us, then. It wouldn't help your case being associated with slag towners. I'd hate to see you get in trouble on our account, but we're just scraping by, you understand? Oh, I reckon anything that can grow here is special. But from what I gather, they got real flavor. Might even be strong enough to take the edge off fabric and meat. I try, but no amount of boiling, chopping, or mashing did the trick. Those mushrooms are tougher than shoe leather and full of spores anyway you dice them. Besides, they're hard enough to come by without me wasting them on trial and error. Can't really say that any of the Tinkerer's creations were designed with edibility in mind, but... There's only so much of that mushy food paste a person can eat in one lifetime. I was <laughs> raised on this stuff and I can barely stand it. Sounds like you just need hot sauce, basically. Pastas <laughs> of some sort. Doesn't make me much of a wood elf, does it? All my parents used to talk about over dinner was the wild game from home. Everyone from outside gets the same look in their eye when talking about their favorite meal. It's why I took up cooking. Don't I know it. But if I can make the days a little easier for even one person, it'll be worth it. And if I only wind up making something so bad the paste is good by comparison, <laughs> well, that's a victory in a way, right? Nice. Those alien things are so bloody expensive. Shit, 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 shit.
went too high. Prognosticator refuses to talk to me. I request a fortune and receive only silence. Is that what my mother died for? I will destroy the false prophet, but not by taking a hammer to its shell. Instead, I'll show my people that it isn't infallible. I'll destroy it by proving that the predictions it makes are blatant lies. To do this, we have to activate the machine. As part of every pilgrimage, the faithful have to descend into the Veil of Tears and secure a working animo core from one of the factotums that roam the area. Head down there and see if any of them have a working power source. Oh yeah, then a few. I'll figure out how to turn the factotum on and get it to make a prediction. Look, I can't go down there. My mother's body... Uh, if I found it, I'd lose the resolve to finish this. And I have to finish this. I hope you understand. Be careful in the veil. It's dangerous down there. And of his mother. Reflecting. Reflecting. Memory engaged. Gathering data. We count the number of people residing within the Brass Fortress. Tracking birth. Intriguing query. That is one interpretation of our analytical capability. The query. Reflecting. Dreaming. Beginning analysis to chart possible outcomes. No relevant data in memory vaults. Errors. Dreaming. Squid jelly. A rainy day.
Boss of the news new way back up. Were you able to find an animal core? I see you've brought back an animal core. It works, I assume. Good job. While you were gone, I figured out where to install the core. There's a cavity in the machine that looks to be about the right size. I think it goes in there. I'm not sure. I never went on a pilgrimage, so I've never seen the Grand Prognosticator in operation. My mother told me a few stories. She was always vague about the Oracle. How did you kn Oh, you found her. I didn't want to imagine what happened to her. The passphrase? Let me see. Fascinating. I wonder why she kept this a secret. I remember something about a sacred text, though. I'll ask Paul Botton about it later. Right now, I want to know what... So that's what the prognosticator uses to make its dire predictions? Information collected about our habits and patterns. How insidious. It makes sense, but how can I get the people to believe it? Prognosticator, tell me what the fates have in store for Comet of Slagtown. Reflecting. Charting possible outcomes. Comet of Slagtown. Minimum income. Inferior quality of life. Great, you know all about me. But what does it mean? What's my future, you stupid construct? Query. Reflecting. Prognostication unsatisfactory. Poor quality of life will lead to sickness starvation, depression, and ultimately, death. Perfectly dire. Just what I expected. And what about my friend here? Reflecting. Reflecting. No relevant data in memory vaults. Error occurred. Please present yourself for immediate data collection. By the word of said, I... By the word of said, invalid passphrase provided. Please present yourself. Interesting. The prognosticator doesn't have a prophecy for you. More proof that it uses what it knows to make calculated guesses. But it predicted doom and gloom for me. Now I can change my future and show everyone that our fate isn't fixed. By doing the impossible. I'll find the lost treasure of the radius. In the past, the pilgrimage included both a visit to the prognosticator and a search for the treasure. That changed after a lot of people died during an unsuccessful... Palbatten survived that doomed hunt. I'll get him to tell me exactly what happened. Then, I can retrace their steps, avoid their mistakes, and find enough wealth to change my fortune. Let's go find the old man in the brass fortress. And how the hell are <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I've got to hop off and go to bed. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider um, checking out, coming out, uh, coming and checking out the Twitch stream live. Uh, link will be in the description below. Uh, yeah, or you can check me out at fish.tv slash wados96. Uh, yeah. Um, I should be on tomorrow night unless it's maintenance day tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or the day after. I think it's the day after given my location is Australia. Um, but if I end up not being correct, I'll see you Tuesday. But yeah, till next time, see you later.